Hey friends, I'd like to share some words of wisdom and some life lessons from Ian McKellen, uh, featured in yesterday's Wall Street Journal. He doesn't keep enemies. Let's read some of this. Ian McKellen has played imperious Shakespearean kings, a fearsome X-Men anti-hero, and a wizard so powerful he could stop enemies in their tracks. That would be Gandalf. This month he stars as another formidable adversary in The Critic, playing a newspaper writer who will do anything to maintain his title and influence. The Critic. Retribution is a theme in the movie. Have you ever gotten revenge on an enemy? The interviewer asked. I don't think I have any enemies. The closest I got was a smart remark. When I came out, the film director, Derek Jarman, was very scathing. He thought I was a Johnny-come-lately and said I was a gay man in straight clothing. So I was a bit miffed. But then a few months later, he asked me to be in the film of Edward II, which is the first play ever to be written with a gay hero by Christopher Marlowe in the 16th century. And I was able to say, oh no, I'm sorry. I don't want to do that play again. I'd done it 15 years before. And there was a look on his face that he might have got it wrong. <laughs> Later, what's one piece of advice you've gotten that's guided you? Ian responds, go and see other people in the theater, on the television, on film, in the street, on the subway, in a restaurant, in a pub. Because wherever you look, there's acting going on, layers. Even if you're not working, you can be preparing by observing. And of course, if you do that, regardless of whether you're an actor or not, you'll be engaging with the world around you. Yeah, words of wisdom.